because it pisses me off so much. Let's get married. Guys, I'm for real. Does that mean I'm ready? Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nancy Tigress. Make sure you subscribe to watch what? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you're back, if you've already been here, well, welcome back. Thank you guys so much. Quick disclaimer, I don't want to bash any dating sites. This is just like what I think from the reviews and what I personally think from what I've been doing. So today's video, I am doing a video about dating sites. Yes, guys, uh, dating sites. Why? Because it pisses me off so much. So you're probably wondering, what do you mean dating sites? How many sites have you been on? Um, a few. And not because I'm like a desperate, just because I'm trying out. And like the funny thing is that I'm I'm really not looking for a boyfriend. Like I'm not ready. But if it happens, I will gladly accept the fact that it happens, that I am happy and that I met the person that I'm supposed to be with or the person that is my soulmate or I match with. And I think what happens is when I watch YouTube videos of couples, for example, I don't want to name some, let's just not do it, okay? But I follow a few people on YouTube and I watch them and I'm like, oh my god, they are made for each other and I want that. Like they look so, like they are so happy and I don't know, there's something about it. And you know, some are like, they're, they have babies or they're pregnant or they're or they're thinking about it or getting married or they did get married and it's just like you're looking at that and you're like <laughs> can I have that one day but then I'm like super happy about what I have my life and I love my son and I feel like sometimes that's all I need I'm traveling I'm doing so much stuff cuz okay guys I've only been single for like what a year over a year over a year definitely over a year and I am so happy I've been traveling so much since I I'm I'm single and I just love it because that's like one of the things that I like most and I know maybe it's because we didn't fit together which would be the reasons why like I wasn't doing exactly what I wanted and now I'm just like I'm free I can do what I want and that's the thing is if I find someone and I still have that free I can do what I want type of thing then oh my god let's get married like I'm super picky which is why I was looking at sites because I'm like okay being super picky you can't go on any any site you have to go on a site where you're gonna find the person that you need which for me my number one thing that I can't pass over and I'm saying that because guys I'm for real if you're not vegan it's not gonna work if you're not vegan it's not gonna work and I'm not saying that as like oh my god if you're not vegan I'm not gonna be your friend I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm saying that like I cannot get married with someone who is going to not be vegan. It is not gonna work. I was with a guy for a few years and I transitioned and I transitioned into into a bloom. No, but I changed my way of eating and it worked less and less. That wasn't the reason why we broke up, but let's just say that it wasn't helping the situation. There was a few things that wasn't working with my couple. But I remember how I was like, this is not working. This is not working. Like I was getting mad for so many reasons and I thought when I have a boyfriend or the next person will have to be because it will just not work. And I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not the only one who said that. I don't want to go on to that. This is probably going to be cut by the way. I'm just saying I'm blabbering so much. Uh, let's have more coffee just so I blabber it more and people are like, oh my God, this girl talks so much about her life. Let's just listen for like 20 minutes. Okay, so the person must be vegan. And I know a lot of people are like, okay, I feel you because I'm a fitness freak and I need my person, my other significant other to be a fitness freak. Because let me tell you, if you are a person who loves to hike, who loves to bike, who loves to travel, and you're on, you're dating someone who just loves to sit on their butt, not gonna work. I'm sorry. Unless you like to be alone all the time and you're like, you sit there and I'm gonna do all those things. But I highly doubt it. Most people will want to date someone who has some similarities. And for me, health and dietary is number one thing that needs because... I don't need to get into this. Like, do I make sense? So I decided to look just for fun. So I googled vegan, vegan dating, vegan dating sites, vegan whatever, vegan soulmates and all that stuff. And I fell on some on some dating sites. And funny thing is, I'm just gonna try it because who knows? I could go on a dating site and I won't find anyone near me because it could be a dating site that is known more in the U.S. or in Europe or in France, you know, whatever. Because that's how it is, you know. There's some dating sites that no one knows about, so how the hell are they gonna be on it? So I just made a profile with no picture, no nothing, and I was just browsing to see who's there. And I'm not just saying about dating site, I'm saying about other dating site because I think I've tried Match and then a few others that are not vegan, but you can say you're vegan and most of them
them and some of them anyways I've heard a lot of people say oh try this one oh try this one or I've seen a friend of mine who was like I'm gonna make a profile on this and I'm just like oh and it's like there's something about there's something fun about it I don't know about you guys but there's something fun about going to see who's there and like when you're single and even if you're not ready to be with someone it's just fun to see who's out there it's interesting and like I said if I meet someone and I'm like oh my god and we actually match then why the heck not so I'm on dating sites I have zero pictures zero information about myself nothing 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 I actually have one where it says I'm blonde I have long hair blue eyes blah 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 but I have no pictures how the heck do you know I'm not catfishing and I don't even have a picture first of all so first of all you see a picture no picture it's like blank it's like a profile picture of like you know the Facebook thing that you just like how are you gonna believe what I'm saying and even if you don't believe like it how did you click on my profile to see if you see there's no picture like most of the time people on dating sites are just scroll scroll this person's good looking let me go check their profile it's not like oh scroll there's no picture let me go see so I'm getting messages and I'm getting messages like I go on my email and I'm like I got three messages on this site. I got three messages on this one and I deleted a lot of the dating website because of that because I'm like I'm getting so many messages of people but I'm not even interested first of all and I'm not even I don't even have a picture I don't even have like you don't even see who I am what I am what I do like why are you messaging me you know you know that those are probably like fake profiles like robots because uh <laughs> After that, they're like, you got a message, do you want to respond? And then if you click like you want to respond or you want to read the message, they ask for a price. They ask you to pay. The website is not free. You have to pay if you want to answer or if you want to read a, mis a response. And I've done this with so many websites where it's like, oh, I have a message and I wanted to read because some of them I did have a profile picture, but then I want to read and it says, oh, sorry, you have to pay a certain price. All I have to say, guys, just be careful because there's so many websites that are getting you with that where it's like, oh, you have to pay a price for us to, and I'm not saying it doesn't work, okay? Uh, a, per a girl on YouTube is actually, that's where she met her husband. So I'm not saying it's not working. All I'm saying is a lot of these sites that you have to pay, they use a lot of fake profiles to get you to pay because they're like hi you got a message you got two messages you got three people waiting for you you have to pay this amount if you want to respond some people some of the profiles are fake okay that's what I highly believe highly because so many profiles that I did didn't have a picture didn't have information and yet I'm getting messages like why are you messaging me like why so one thing that really bothered me about a lot of sites which is why I kept going on other ones is that a lot like a lot of the times there was no one around me and other times there was people but they were super far or or it's like there wasn't no one that actually I thought was like my type and it's just like okay so I'm just gonna go on another dating site just for fun to see like again like who's there and all that stuff and it's just like every time I just go on it to see yet I'm getting loads and loads of messages. I don't have a name, I don't have a picture, I don't have a height, I freaking age, I have, I'm exaggerating. But you know what I mean? So it's just like, this is what I have to say about dating sites. Guys, stop doing it. Like, just stop doing it. Because if I wasn't getting all those messages when I have nothing, then I would probably be like, more intrigued and like, more looking and then maybe I would make a profile and then maybe I would pay if ever I would see there's a lot of people. Because right now when I get messages and I see that I don't have a profile and people are messaging me I'm like well how do I know who's real and who's not how do I know if this profile that I actually really like or I'm in I'm interested in is actually a real profile is actually a real person so why am I going to pay just to find out do you know what I mean and uh, first of all I'm not gonna pay for a dating site because I'm not even there yet I don't even I'm not interested in dating right now so why would I pay I'm just there to be curious but yet I see that your profile is probably 90% fake I'm kidding <laughs> They're probably like a little percent. I don't know what the percentage. I just know that it drives me a little insane that you cannot trust dating sites. And I'm not bashing any site in particular. Like I said, I can't tell you which one does that and which one doesn't. But you know what? Maybe what you can do is next time you want to go on a dating site, try it. Try what I just told you. You make yourself a profile with no picture, with nothing written and see what happens. You see what happens and then you come back and you comment down below and what happened. And then maybe after you can decide or, you know, check the reviews and stuff. Oh, 
Oh, that is another thing. That I think that's how I found out about it. Is I was looking at reviews on a dating site and people said, oh, half or, or like a certain percent of theirs is fake, blah, 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 because of this, because of that. I remember, I saw reviews. So guys, go check the reviews. Go see what people are saying. Try it out for yourself. Have a note picture. Have fun with it. But guys, I'm just saying, like, it got me so disappointed. I'm not on Tinder, guys. Make sure you watch my Tinder video. I guess I'm just being curious right now, which is kind of normal because I've been single and I'm just like, is there someone out there for me, do you think? For my future future year later in my life when I will be ready guys make sure you like this this video comment down below and please subscribe I hope to see you for my next video bye for now are you on any of those sites <laughs>